in come the enemy. They're going to be clashing into the front. We put ourselves in a square formation so we can defend all sides of us, but I don't know how well this is going to work. If for some strange reason you don't own Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord already, make sure you click the link in the description to go to Games Planet and you can buy your copy there for cheaper than pretty much anywhere else. You'll be supporting me and of course, the money will also go to terrorism serves. So it's a win-win. The Spartans. A famed warrior throughout history, led by a king, the Oneidas, they defend their homeland against whatever. But what if it went the other way? What if they went on the offensive? Could they conquer the lands? Could they conquer castles and gain territory for themselves? How powerful really are the Spartans? Here we are, Leonidas patrolling the land with, at the moment, his one Spartan. And these are the guys we're going to be testing today. Now, this is the closest I could get to sort of the Lambda Shield and the black and red, whilst not being historically accurate whatsoever, it was the best I could make it look. Every other color just looked horrendous. But this is the humble Spartan, equipped with a hairy chest, a cape and some good shoulder pads, a plumed helmet, a shield, a spear and a sword. Oh yes, of course these are based mostly on the 300 Spartans from, from the film, not, not actual history. It's a more romanticized approach to the look of the Spartans. But with me and my one Spartan, we're going to go and test out our skill, our brawn. Who can we take on? Up against 10 looters here. It's just us two, no matter what. Let's go, my soldier. Let's go. Oh, straight down. Straight down. Come on, my Spartan brother. Fight for your life. A fantastic job done already. Chase them down. Luckily, our immense speed means we can actually catch up with these guys. Come on, buddy. Run, run. We're getting them. We're catching them. Come on, let's go. So close. So goddamn close. Yeah, taking them down. Two left. Two left. Go for the slice. And off with his head it goes. Oh, yes. Okay, there's one final looter. And we're chasing after him. But I think he may just get away at this point. Oh. And off with his head we go. Oh yes, that is a victory to me and my one Spartan brother. Now with 20 men in the party, here we are. The Spartan shield wall is forming and ready to do some damage. The enemy caravan on the horizon, made up of 34 men in all, with cavalry. The men moving up now into positions, keeping that shield wall. The arrows are coming in and the archers are pushing back. Their cavalry is coming forward and charging into the front line. Now, what are my guys going to be able to do against this cavalry force? Are they going to be able to get their spears out? Holding their ground and the charge has been given running into the front lines here. Here we go. I think my guys are going to fare pretty well against these weaker caravan guards. The kills starting to really come in now, judging by the kill feed. And I feel sorry for these mules. I really do feel sorry for them. I wonder what the method is for dealing with this cavalry. I think they're going to be all right. But judging by the kill feed, it looks like there isn't any issues here for my Spartans. And that cavalry man just went down like a sock. Surviving cavalry men still. They're coming back in for another round. He's been stopped by my men. And he's going to go down very, very soon. Putting it into slow motion so we can see this gorgeous attack. Oh, their spears are really doing a lot of damage now. The horse coming in and once again being slaughtered. Straight down. Absolutely straight down. And so we have it. One death and one wounded. But all in all, a success. Oh, with 50 men in the party, they're coming already. We must hold our ground. Wow, the amount of horse archers they have. We're going to have to push up pretty quickly. Let's get all our men into shield wall and to push straight up there. Horse archers, for some reason, wanting to use the lake for themselves. But that's not going to help them because my guys are coming in now. Here we go. Absolutely slaughtered straight off the bat. Unfortunately, this is going to prove quite difficult to the ones that are running away. But we can capture the ones that are still in the lake now. And they should be pretty easy to take out. Go on, lads. Take him out. Good job. Good job, men. This is our time. Now they're back in the lake. They're going to be much lower. We can catch up with them. Let's try and chase them down here. But we've caught them at the other side. We've caught them at the other side. It's probably a good idea for you guys to put your shields up. But they have been caught in the river. I think they're going to take many, many losses right now. Many losses. Our shields are really keeping us alive at this point. Looking at the kill feed, not much is going on all at this point. But surely they'll run out of arrows soon. And this is it. Many of them have started to run out of ammo. This is when we can use our shields to our advantage. Go on then, lads. Go on then. Do your worst. I am Leonidas. 
They're trying to break through, but our square is too strong, too powerful. Surely they're going to have to run out of arrows soon. As we can see by them, some of them have still got one quiver left with arrows in, but one is empty. So it's not going to last too much longer. Our square in the middle doing what it needs to be doing right now and doing a fantastic job of it. Protecting arrows on either side. Our shields, while small, they are very, very powerful. And as soon as they try and come in... It's just death for them. We're coming in now. The horses are breaking up some of the formation, but we're still holding strong. If we look at the kill feed, still not much is all going on. But what's happened right now? We've lost three men who are wounded, but we killed 17 of theirs. Okay, they're really starting to come in. We can tell that they're running out of ammo now. This is our time. This is our time. Go on, lads. Stay strong. They're really pushing in now. They're really pushing in now. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Good job, lads. Good job, lads. Okay, they've pretty much all run out of ammo now. And you might have wondered why I decided to do this formation in the water. Well, this is why. They cannot get any charges on us. They are just walking into our men because the water slows them down. This is where infantry come into their own. Issue the charge. We're breaking formation. Let's go out and kill them. Let's slaughter these guys. They don't have any arrows left. This is our time. And as you can see, we the kill feed. It's doing a fantastic job. My men doing what they need to be doing right now. An absolute slaughter right now. An absolute slaughter. Good job, lads. I don't think there's too many of them left at all. And down he goes. One of the last cavalry now about to be absolutely slaughtered by my men and taken down with a stab to the face. I think that might be a victory. A long, hard fight, but a victory nonetheless. Only four wounded and 41 of theirs killed with 17 wounded. All right, come on, lads. Let's go. We've got to move up now. They're going to be coming over this hill pretty soon. I've got a feeling they've got a lot of cav. Oh, we can see them off in their distances. Their banner coming over the hill. Some of their cavalry already coming up. Come on, lads. Make your positions. Make your positions. The enemy cavalry coming in now. We need to be holding our shields up to this reckless hate. Up with me, boys. Move up with me. We've got to get to those front lines as soon as we possibly can. This enemy cavalry proving to be a bit annoying on our rear here. Push up the hill. Push up the hill. We've got to close the distance as soon as we possibly can. Already moving in on their front lines. The clash about to happen in the middle. And my men doing absolute carnage against these Azurai lords. The kill feed has started to begin. Here we go now. Now we have about 80 men. They have about 170. But as you can see, that is going down very, very quickly. Look at these cowards running from the battlefield already. They can't take on the might of Sparta. <laughs> An absolute slaughter there. We can see a banner off in the distance. Will he be able to get away? My guys are pretty fast when they're running on foot. They might be able to take this guy down pretty soon. Oh, he's going to take a beating. Oh, he's just about dodging it, but they're coming for him now. Oh, he's taking a hit to the head now and a stab to the back takes the boy down. But my Spartans have decided they want somewhere to live in, not somewhere cold, somewhere hot and sunny. So we're going to be trying taking Sahal Castle because I kind of want it. I've got a feeling that we may be attacked first, though. They have 325 against my 113 men. But that shan't deter me. We will stand and fight like true Spartans. My humble Spartans who will stand to defend, but they can see the enemy on the ridge line. The arrows are starting to ping in already. We've got to hold our position and just hope we can survive. Blowing the arrows into battle. Are they going to be able to do anything? Hopefully they're not hitting the backs of my guys here. Okay, they're mostly hitting shields, but... My man has been shot in the foot. That is a lot of arrows incoming now. That is a lot of arrows. Stand strong, my friends. Stand strong. Oh, men, they're coming over. They're coming over the ridge. Oh, my word. They're coming down. Keep your shields high. I'll try and protect some of your backs. And in come the enemy. They're going to be clashing into the front. We put ourselves in a square formation so we can defend all sides of us. But I don't know how well this is going to work. Cavalry already clashing into the middle of our formation. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Stay strong. Stay strong. We are really starting to get surrounded. The cavalry is going to prove to be a massive issue. Come on, boys. Fight back. Fight back. Nice. We're getting some kills here. The kills are looking good. The kills are looking good. Keep fighting strong. Okay, so they're starting to pull back from one of our flanks now. And the other flank is starting to come in. But the big fight is raging on at the front here. Right, lads. I think it's time. Get in there. Get in there. Push them back. Push them back. And a beheading, a beheading at the front. Fight for your lives. Fight for your lives. The kill feed looking fantastic. Got to take out some of these horses now. Make sure they do not come and defend their men. But we're doing a great job. My Spartans really showing what they're worth. Push them back. Push them back. 
Off rolls his head. <laughs> we are doing such a good job here. I can't believe how well we're beating these guys. We are so heavily outnumbered. I'm just chopping heads off left, right, and center right now. Go on, man. Let's push up. Let's push up here. Let's clear these last few off. Looking at the kill feed, we're still doing a fantastic job. Pushing up towards their archers. That's all that's left, pretty much. And boy, will they go down fast. A knife through butter. Spartans through Azurai. These absolute cowards run away from our men. This is no way a leader should behave. But in battle, it's beyond belief. <laughs> and there we have it. A victory to the Spartans with overwhelming odds. Three to one. But we still did it. And with our 100 men that we have left, we can continue the siege. Lead an assault, they said. Onto the castle, they said. We're going to destroy them, they said. The Spartans getting onto the battering ram, pushing that up first. Yeah, I don't think ladders are going to be too much of an issue for Spartans since we're so powerful when it comes to one-on-one -on -one melee. You saw at the beginning what my one Spartan could do against those 10 looters, and I don't think these guys are going to be any different. I don't like this. I don't like the fact that they're firing down upon us. That's not very nice. Can you can you please stop that? I'm just trying to get up to the siege tower. Imagine seeing a Spartan come up. The first one, I think, is probably going to be taken out. But my, does he have a lot of health. How is he still alive now? He's managed to break out onto the walls. Jesus Christ. I knew these, he's been taken out now. But I knew these guys were good. But I didn't think they'd be that good. Jumping up onto the walls on this side as well. It's glitchy. It's Bannerlord. What do you expect? Fighting on the steps. Hell yeah. Taking them all out. What's the kill feed looking like at the moment? It's looking pretty goddamn good. Pretty goddamn good. If I was these guys, I would be terrified for what's about to come through this tower. An absolute brutal affair on the walls here. The Azurai archers don't know what to do. They're about to retreat, but I don't know if they can. There's nowhere to go at this point. Just Spartans every which way. Pouring out of the gatehouse now. You can see the battering ram still being pushed up. My Spartans moving along the walls just slowly, like a grinder. Looking at that kill feed. Yeah, you can understand how powerful these men are. Oh, and they found the Onager. R.I.P. Onager crew. There's some heavier Azurai infantry coming up now. They're coming to try it out. These guys are actually really good, these skirmishers. They're pretty heavy armor, but it's really nothing compared to my Spartans. Reaching the wall on this side is about to come down. One Spartan leads the charge on his own. Go on, buddy. Go on, buddy. He can do this. He can do this. <laughs> but this is the reason no one really cares to go up the siege tower anymore, because we're breaking through the front gate. Just a trail of Azurai bodies. It's as if a plague has come through. In some ways, it is a plague. A plague of Spartans. And through the gate, we have burst into their last line. They have some heavy infantry here, but I don't know if it's going to be anything compared to my Spartans. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is actually beautiful. Looking at the kill feed, it is not changed at all. We have lost four men, but my Spartans just don't seem to care. And this is it. A victory to the Spartans. A hundred Spartans took on a castle with nearly 200 men in. With ease. It never meant to happen like this. I was never meant to get ambushed by nearly 600 men. But that's just how it turned out. As you can see, the enemy army is pretty, pretty goddamn powerful. And then there's me. My 280 Spartans. Once again, creating a square to make sure we're in the best position possible. Protecting each other's flanks at all costs. Come on, lads. This is it. This is it. Hold your positions. Hold your positions. The arrows are incoming now. I know some of you may be getting hit in the back. Just keep your shields up. And in come the enemy lines. The archers up at the front. The infantry following closely behind. I am yet to lose anyone, but I think that may change pretty goddamn soon. The cavalry has run out of ammo, and they are charging and trying to break through our front line now. And the clash at the front as the Azurai troops are going to try and surround and envelop our men. But we are in square formation, so it shouldn't matter too much. How are the kills? Kills are going well at the moment. Kills are going fantastic at the moment. Our men doing what they can just to hold back this absolute horde of Azurai. Now, our formation is pretty much broken. So it's time to get in there and charge. Get the back ones doing our bit. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Take out their horses. Take out their horses. Oh, it's a chaotic battlefield. It's a chaotic battlefield. I don't know where anyone is. But it doesn't matter. We are destroying them thick and fast. Once again, looking at the kill feed, it's going very, very well for us indeed. The front Azurai line is starting to break. Some reinforcements are coming in through us at the moment. They've put up a good fight, but they're starting to push back now. It's down to their archers and cavalry. Boy, do they have a lot, a lot of archers. The left flank of the Azurai force has started to crumble now. Now we're pushing back and taking them down. Come on, lads. Oh, push in, push in. Hello there. Get out. Get out. Oh, I missed. 
Get out! <laughs> I'll take him. Don't worry, brother. Another beheading. Another beheading. Good job. Right, where are their archers? Have they started to run? I think they're... Oh, great. <sighs> Thanks, Bannerlord. Thank you. I'm so happy that the game decided to crash. Fantastic, but we're back. And we're up against the big army. We now have been traveling the lands. Producing men and gaining men. True Spartan warriors. Hear me now, lads. The enemy across the river, they're ready and they're waiting to push up on us now. This is not a battle I fear will be tricky. Archers firing already, taking off some ranging shots. But these guys have really spread out their army pretty far. Pushing up now on the enemy, here we go. We can run pretty fast, we've got great athletics. So let's start pushing them. Guys, wait up, wait up, please wait up. Oh, the splash as we come through the water. The Spartans looking epic. The sun glinting off their helmets. The enemy not yet in formation and not ready for what's about to come over the brow of the hill. And here they come. The true warriors of Greece. The clash in the front line starts. Swords slashing every which way. Oh, that's got to hurt. A brutal battle commences over as the sun comes up. And boy, have you ever seen a kill feed that looks so beautiful. They've got cavalry coming in now. Oh my word. Let's take them down. Let's take them down. Bring them down, boys. And already it seems too much for the enemy. Way too goddamn much. They're trying to get away, but my men are just too fast on their feet. They've been trained from birth. Only the best were selected. The rest cast off into the mountains. So these guys are no joke. Granted. Spartans are always going to be overpowered, and they're a great fun unit to use. But you even saw in the first few battles I did, with the low numbers, they still did a great job. So maybe an army of just Spartans could be an option. Obviously, at this point in the game, you're looking at an unfeasible amount of men. But one-on-one, -on -one, a Spartan can take on pretty much anyone. So if you decide to download this mod, maybe it's an option. But remember, my men were fairly weak when it came to archers, and we've all seen the film. We all know how that ends. So perhaps some archer support wouldn't go amiss when fielding an army of Spartans in the game. As the last few are being taken out, an absolute brutal affair. Well done lads, well done lads. Leonidas is proud of you today. We changed history. And so we have it. A victory to us, a victory to us Spartans. One more guy and down he blows. So as it goes, maybe Spartans only is a good idea. They're great against cavalry with their spears. They can defend against some archers with their shields, and while their shields are small, they offer some decent protection. They might not have the best armor in the world, as you can probably see, but the power of their swords proves them to be effective in any melee situation. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But if you want to see some more mods, I'll make sure I bring them to you guys as soon as possible. But until then, I will see you in the next one.